Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today, I've got a new tool here, or almost a new tool. Um, I've got some parts anyways. I've got the uh, new line of tools from Harbor Freight, their Atlas line of FlexVolt tools, where you can run the same battery for a 40 volt or an 80 volt, either one. I've got the battery and I've got a charger but I'm waiting on the tool to actually show up. So I guess we're gonna have to find out whether it shows up or not. But I've got the tool on its way and it's supposed to be delivered today, but it is currently 5.30 and I am getting less and less optimistic about it all the time. And you know, it's supposed to be scheduled by end of day today and it seems to be pushing that end of day mark. So in the meantime, we're gonna be checking out the battery and the charger and get it going anyways and get it ready. So I'm pretty excited about checking this out, but let's get this stuff opened up, throw it on the charger, and see if that chainsaw shows up today. There's our charger, and now this is the rapid charger, and it's supposed to charge 40% faster charging time, and according to the battery, uh, the rapid charge time is 45 minutes. So 40% faster than the standard time that would mean that the regular time would be about an hour and 10 minutes to charge the 80 volt battery. So, you know, if you take 40% faster, that makes it 45 minutes on this battery and this charger. So, I don't know, you can kind of weigh up the difference. It depends on how long the battery actually will last. So anyways, um, let's get this thing opened up. Here's our 80 volt, 40 volt battery. I'm real excited about this because uh, Harbor Freight Tools is actually advertising this as their commercial line of battery powered tools. So their chainsaws, their weed eaters, their lawn mowers and everything is rated or advertised on their website and in their sales flyer and everything as their commercial grade. So I'm real curious to see how this is going to hold up, you know, against other stuff like the Milwaukee M18 fuel chainsaw and the Dewalt Flex Volt. 60 volt and 40 volt both, or uh, yeah, 60 volt and 40 volt both. So I'm real curious to see how this thing, you know, the run times and how powerful it is. Um, on the chainsaw that I've got coming, I've got the 18 inch and the 16 inch, and the 18 inch is rated to be comparable to a 50 cc gasoline chainsaw. So we'll just have to find out. But for now, let's head in, get these things on the charger and see if that fed extract shows up. So that thing just slides in, uh, has a good solid lock, clicks into place, and then you can hear it kick on. The fan actually turns on and it starts blinking saying that it's charging. So it's actually the next day because our saw did not show up yesterday. I only had the battery in the charger, but it did show up today like it's supposed to. So we're gonna get into this and check it out. This is the Atlas 40 volt lithium uh, brushless 16 inch cordless chainsaw. And this was advertised in there uh, as a commercial line. So we're gonna get into this. We're gonna open it up, take a good look at it. And then maybe just go do a few test cuts and stuff with it and kind of see how it does, get first impressions. And stick around though, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're gonna do a full series of tests and using this saw over a period, probably at least a year, but we're gonna put it through its paces and see if it can actually hold up to them saying it being a commercial grade battery powered piece of equipment. So I've also got the 80 volt version of this coming, the 18 inch 80 volt version. So we're gonna be doing the same thing on it, but let's jump right into it and get this thing opened up and see what this thing looks like. So we've got a scrunch and our, came with a little small bottle of bar and chain oil. I'm actually a little surprised. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, it's actually kind of sized like a gas chainsaw would be. But I will say too, I don't have any experience with any any battery powered chainsaw at all. Never used one. 
Never tried one out, nothing. And all I've ever used was gas powered chainsaws. So maybe this is standard size, but it seems, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, a chainsaw 30, 30 cc size chainsaw type size. It actually, you know, feels pretty good size. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bar here. So I'm gonna get the camera over here and get you a good close look on that. This thing really does look nice. I mean, it's, it actually feels good too. It's, and the handle on it's plastic. It doesn't feel, you know, it's not padded or anything like that. Um, the grip back here actually has like a rubber grip on it. So that, that actually feels pretty good, you know, just handling it, it, it actually feels fairly comfortable. Um, I'll probably be wearing gloves most of the time using this. So I don't know that that really bothers me too much about that being just, you know, kind of plasticky feeling, but you know, it's no big deal to me. It's got the standard two nuts that hold the bar on instead of, you know, a lot of these, uh, you know, companies that are doing these battery power like Dewalt and stuff, they have like a, uh, a single knob thing here where you loosen it up and you can adjust the, the tension on it, uh, a toolless adjustment, but they do send the scrunch with it. So you have the tool to take the nuts loose and then you adjust the tension right here in, in between them. And you put your bar oil in right here. Just lift up the tab. That thing just turns right out. And that's pretty cool. It actually has a keeper on here to keep you from losing your cap, which is can be a, a, a lifesaver sometimes. I mean, who knows? You know, a lot of times you'll be working, you'll take the cap off, you set it down, you tend to forget where you put it sometimes, but that's pretty cool to help you keep track of where it's at. So let's put the battery in here. This is the uh, the dual voltage battery. It's got the 40 volt uh, as five amp hour and the 80 volt is a 2.5. So let's put it in here and kind of check that out. And that pretty much fills up the entire battery compartment. That actually makes it feel a lot more balanced also. Uh, so, you know, your bar and everything, it, it feels feels really balanced to me. We'll use their bar and chain oil and uh, go ahead and put that in there. And we'll take it over and do some test cuts with it and see how it does. It does come with the owner's manual and it's a manual actually for both saws, the 40 volt and the 80 volt. So the little bottle of oil that came with it uh, is actually a hundred milliliters and it is only about enough maybe to fill this up about halfway so let's pull the trigger on this thing and see what it does. It does have a chain brake, uh, just like your regular gas saws. So you gotta pull that back. You've got to push in the safety right here and then pull the trigger. It's really slow at taking off, which I'm sure that's the thing with the, the way that the electronics are set up. It's probably a soft start. So when you pull the trigger all the way, it takes it a second to really get up to speed. And it's either on or off. There's no variable speed with the trigger. It's either on or off. All right, well, let's take this thing over to the woods. We'll cut into a tree and see how it does. Really? And one thing I did notice just a minute ago, uh, that when you run it, when you pull the trigger and it has no load on it, it'll run one speed. But as you put more load to it, it sends more voltage to it, I guess. And the speed actually will increase and you can really hear it wind up when you start putting a load on the chain. And it feels like that it's got all kinds of power. So
So first impressions on this thing, it seemed like it's turning slow, but as you put pressure on the, the chain and it starts to pull the power down, it actually kicks into like a you know high power mode or something and it and it really takes off and really spins up the chain big time like it it slices through stuff like butter well so i thought let's try it on some bigger stuff and i brought it over here and i started working on this oak log and you know it's about six inches on one end, one end and works its way up to about eight inches on the other end and it rips through that stuff plenty of power and really I'm shocked that it has that much power. I thought that, you know, it's battery powered and I was going to have to be really, you know, kind of working with it and trying to not dig in too much, which it does have, you know, like a low profile chain on it and it does kind of keep you from digging in too much. But then I thought, well, let's test it out on some big stuff. This poplar sitting here is not a real hardwood, uh, but it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a medium. And, but it was to capacity. You see that, that one on there, it was 16 inches, the length of the bar, and it had no problem cutting through that. And you can even put pressure on it and it would cut through it still with no problem. And right at the very end, uh, it was running and the saw was kicking off and it would only run for just a couple seconds and then kick off and then a couple seconds and then kick off. And I thought, well, maybe the battery went dead that fast, but the battery has got three bars on it still. So then I kept messing with it and it still, you know, you could even take it out of the wood and just hold it and it would run and then just shut off after just a few seconds. So I thought, well, maybe there's a, a thermal protection or something, but the thing's not even warm anywhere. The Plus the temperature outside right now is only about 55 degrees. I was like, there's no way it's gonna be overheating that fast i thought well okay i pulled the battery out put it back in and it ripped right through it so i don't know if there was just a bad connection maybe it was getting warm or something but there's definitely a hint of an issue there so only time will tell but my first impressions on it are wow i cannot believe that a battery powered saw will cut through stuff 16 inches you know it's it's capacity and you, can, and you can put pressure on it and rip through it. I mean, it actually does a really good job. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow along as we actually put this thing through rigorous tests. We're gonna use it all the time. I have a smaller gas chainsaw that I'm gonna kinda use this instead of the gas and, and even do some comparisons and stuff between the two. I can tell you right now, as far as just first uh, impressions of it that this 40 volt is more powerful than I think my chainsaw is a 34 cc or somewhere like 32 34 something like that and it's definitely more powerful than what that saw is but one of the big questions is you know how long will it last how much would you know can you cut through it on one charge versus how much can you cut through on gas chainsaws so stick around because that kind of stuff's what we're going to find out also uh, I've got the 80 volt version of this coming with the 18 inch bar and same thing. We're going to do it the same way. We're going to test it out, put it through some rigorous tests and see how it holds up. So guys, stick around for all that. Make sure you click that thumbs up button, share this video with everybody you know, and thanks for watching.